My name is Julian Chu. Uh, when I first met Ben, I did not know who he was. Uh, it was almost 40 years ago, I went to a uh, chemical engineering conference in San Francisco. And I took the opportunity to uh, <coughs> uh, find out people uh, who I could uh, learn a little bit more about Tai Chi. Uh, such as I went to Golden Inn's place, and I also went to some other place, and uh, Martin Yin, uh, also the dog, I got a chance to talk to him. But nobody could answer my questions at the time, because I already started Tai Chi for a few years. So I was introduced by Martin Yin to talk to Ben, and I didn't know who this person was. So I had a chance on the phone with him, and uh, I could not believe that he answered all my questions. So I said, uh, uh, Mr. Lowe, uh, would you like me to uh, come to your place so I have more chance to talk to you? And he accepted me. That's how I got a chance to meet him the very first time. At his studio at the Clemens Grade. Uh, so he first asked me to practice the form I learned. So I did it all the long form I did. And after that, I feel pretty good about it because you know I studied for a few years. I saw you know I you know I I was doing well in front of him. And guess what? He just told me, Julian, none of your plateau was correct, and I was so shocked and also upset. I said, I've been doing that for so long. I tried very hard, and why none of my plateau was correct? Then I turned around asking him, what would be the correct departure? So he came out with a one of departures. I saw it, and he wanted me to, to push him. And I did. I got to bounce back. And that's how I understood the correct departure was supposed to be. And I was so sad, and uh, I went back home in Tennessee at the time. And fortunately, that uh, I got a letter from him, and uh, so I took the opportunity to ask him to come home, my home in Tennessee, to teach me about this Chinese you know, form from the very beginning. That's how I learned the Tai Chi, and then I helped him out to uh, uh, open some classes in Tennessee and Georgia and so forth. Uh, for many of you who know Ben. Uh, you know, he didn't know Professor either, you know, when he learned his Tai Chi from him, from Professor. So he was sick, you all know about it. And, you know, after he got some herb medicine from Professor, and then, you know, Professor asked him, you gotta help yourself. And you have, you have to, to, to uh, do some exercise, such as Tai Chi. And you heard the story that Ben said, do you know Tai Chi? And the professor answer was, I know a little bit, but just enough to teach you. And that's how Ben got into Tai Chi, and he learned it you know, very, very seriously, you know, to improve his health. And so for his four years in college, and also two subsequent years in graduate school, he went between the classroom and Ben's house all along. And the uh, professor, that was in year 1949, when Ben started his, his learning from professor. And uh, a year later, professor was invited by the mayor of Taipei City to have a formal classes in Taiwan. That was a year after Ben's learning from professor. Then professor uh, <coughs> had so many students, and Ben was able to work with them and also they had the push and gathering at the professor's house every Sunday from 1950 all the way through 1964 when professor left Taiwan for United States and uh, professor started his teaching in San Francisco and then shortly after that he went to New York City uh, so he was so busy, as you know, some of you learned from him there in New York City. And Professor was able to 
ask uh, uh, some of his uh, senior students to come over to the United States to help him out. Is you probably know about Abraham, Abraham New. You, uh, you probably have the, uh, know about the, the uh, 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 Mr. Chen uh, 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 in New York City, and also you, Robert W. Smith was here. Okay, and uh, so Ben heard whatever professors were, and he was so respected to professor, and then he just quit his job and came over here in 1974. And he found out the name of the professor's shop, you know, in San Francisco was Universal Tai Chi Club. So he began to use the name. And then about a couple of years later, and you heard from Kenneth, uh, because of all the demands of the Tai Chi, so Ben could not just hold all those in San Francisco only. He started his first workshop in Maui, Hawaii in 1976. And then a year after, he started his summer camp and also the, the, the other workshops in California. And three years later, he started, you know, at that time, he was helped by Abraham, Master Abraham Liu also. And then in 1980, and he went to Fenton Lake near Milwaukee, and that was his first Midwest camp. A year after that, uh, you know, he moved to uh, Catskill in New York. In New York. Uh, and he came to Washington, D.C. very early in 1977. Because heard about somebody studied from professor arrived in San Francisco. So Mr. Smith wanted to meet this guy. So there was a chance that they got together in San Francisco and then Robert Smith saw Ben, oh that was you, okay? That was a time that they got together and then Ben was invited by uh, Mr. Smith to come over here beginning in 1977 and for all the year afterward until Mr. Smith retired. Uh, also that there was a, 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 so many European students came from Europe to attend Ben's workshop in the United States. So there was a request you know, from all the European students, so Ben started his teaching in Europe way back in 1981. The first was the three country Belgium, Germany, and Holland. I remember that uh, when uh, Ben told me that his first workshop in uh, Holland, you know, his uh, flight was 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 delayed. So, so he got the airport. Nobody picked him up. And later, you know, uh, there was there was some you know uh, misunderstanding. But anyway, Ben got there the first day, and he didn't know that he was supposed to give a a, a seminar to people. And uh, guess what? There were four hundred people came into Ben's workshop in his first Holland lectures right but anyway for so many years Ben went over European countries and he spent out to you know uh, uh, Sweden Norway uh, even uh, uh, Israel okay and and also all over the other cities in the United States you know for over 40 years I think that the band has all a total I don't know how many thousands, maybe over even close to 10,000, all right? Uh, ben wrote many Chinese articles, and some with his own name. But there was also other articles nobody knew about, because he was using his pseudonyms, all right? So I'm going to collect all his previous articles, and then hopefully we'll, we'll, I'm going to put on a website for you all to, to uh, to see. And Ben translate three books. The Tai Chi Classic, The Essence of Tai Chi Chuan, and, and uh, the Professor's 13 Treatise, and also another one was the Chen Wei Ming's Tai Chi Chuan, you know, Da Wen, the question and the answers. And I asked Ben, why don't you write your own books? Ben said to me, Julian, 
professor already done such a great job, you know, for such a tremendous book. I cannot write anything better than my teacher, right? Uh, for long story short, I want to show you some pictures. This is a picture that was uh, taken at the fans age 25. Okay, with professor. Okay, so Ben met professor in 1949 at the age 22. So, so this picture, I don't know, you know, it looked like a high school student, but actually Ben was already in college at the time. And uh, this is, in, this is a, uh, This is an inscription gave to Ben by professors, written by professor. Uh, do you know what it says here? Okay, let me read it in Chinese and I'll translate into English for you. Okay, first in Chinese. Xia Zong Sen Gen Ru Di Sen Mong Ya Chu Tu Zi Chen Yin Tang Sen Xiao Guo Yu Xing De Ke Yong Tian Bian Mi Deng Lin. So it says that the planting seeds, your own seeds, to develop the roots deep into the earth. But in from earth to grow into tall trees forming shade producing outcomes from self comprehend wisdom seeking out other remote trees deemed unnecessary that's what the professor said to them that means you gotta study yourself very hard in order to to gain and uh, I was very lucky that Ben also gave me this inscription. Okay, and uh, probably you all see what it means in Chinese. This is from one of the Chinese classics. It says, "Wu Men Yin Lu Xu Kou Shou Gong Fu Wu Xi Fa Zi Xiu." This is the picture of the Ben's very last camp in Milwaukee in 19 in 2013. Uh, let me translate that this in, in English for you. You probably already know. It says that to enter the door and be shown the way, you must be orally taught. Practice should be uninterrupted and technique will be achieved by self-study. We are here to celebrate Thank you very much.